hello and welcome back to another client series video here on my channel if you're new here hey girl if you're a returning subscriber hey girl so we're just gonna get straight into this and we're gonna be installing this 10 inch bob wig sent to me by huvella.com um super super affordable wigs on their site when i was looking through very affordable and very very good quality the lace on this it was swiss lace so it had the perfect perfect brown that we didn't need to tint it or anything so what you saw me do initially was just a bowl cap method i, I glue my bowl caps down i don't use like got to be spirit anymore just because the hold is not giving what it's supposed to give when i don't use my glue so you're just gonna see me go in with my layers of glue i go in with three layers making sure that the layer has turned clear before pressing the lace in the lace was so easy to work with what i will say is make sure that you buy your correct size wig cap just because the wigs are very true to size like when i tried this cap on it was slightly small for my head and I've, when i took the measurements i realized they're very very true to size so take that into consideration when buying wigs from this vendor the wig didn't come pre-plucked so i did have to pluck it and bleach the nuts um just because my client she didn't want to have like a brown tint to her unit i did go ahead and dye this jet black so this is not the natural colour of the wig, but the hair colour is still quite dark. It just wasn't dark enough for what we was going for. So before putting my elastic band down to mount the lace further, I'm loving this little TikTok hack where you just add spritz on top. Spritz kind of acts like a mountain spray because I know mountain sprays have been coming like quite popular recently. The spritz just kind of acts as a mountain spray and when you take the elastic band off, it's giving a wet lace. And that is exactly what we're trying to achieve. So the part in space on this wig was not as big as I wanted it to be or I hoped it would have been. So we did decide to go for like a no part side flip over look. And I'm just going to pull out the baby hairs. I feel like baby hairs, I feel like we should know how to do our baby hairs now guys. Like, can we still not do baby hairs? Because I feel like they're so simple. Like, once you cut them short enough, I feel like they're so simple to do. What I'm taking out is like curved sections on corners of her hairline just to add those to make baby hairs and trim them short enough. Once you curl them with like a really small curler, you can kind of see where it still needs to get cut more. So don't be afraid to cut your edges shorter because it will make your swoops look so much nicer. my edges i go in with my bed head spray as you can see the baby hair still needed to be shorter so i went ahead and cut them a little bit more and once cutting them they were so they were so much easier to maneuver
So for this bob, we wanted to add some volume to the look. I let the baby hairs just sit under the elastic band just so they could set because I did add the hairspray and I wanted them to be molded like correctly in place. So I'm using the smallest wand and I'm just doing loads of curls away from her face. the takedown this so one I'm just running my fingers through the curls just to see what we're working with and I realized that I might need to comb some hairs into place because this was an asymmetrical bob like we decided to just trim it you see like that little long piece on the side of her face we decided to just trim it and add a little bit of layers to the look. And this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. All the links to the hair will be in the description box. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.